how are you, mate? And pain. But why bother asking the question when you don't care what the answer is, mate? How long has that been going on for? Were they doing it? Do you think I really want to talk about this, you dick? He's crashing on you. Keep up the good work. Since you're out of ice, the thrust. Jonathan, join me. Can't sit here by myself all night. But I know what I saw. You hitting on your sister's boyfriend. I'm trying to prove he's the real player to protect Gabrielle. You're flirting with her boyfriend, but you're doing it for her sake. Nothing can justify that. I only hope Jonathan catches on to you before you can do any real damage. Not interested. You're being judgmental. I'm calling it like I see it. With respect, you don't know what it's like to have a sister who needs looking after constantly. Gabrielle's an adult, and she'd be disgusted if she knew what you were doing to Jonathan. She doesn't know, and she's not going to. Because you're going to stop. Or what? Uh, it wasn't a threat. It was a suggestion. How old are you again? I'll stuff you. Oh, right. Fourteen and a half. <sighs> I know it seems juvenile. Is juvenile. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll back off, let Gabrielle make her own decisions, and be there to pick up the pieces when it all turns to custard. If it does. Questions to a bunch of guys, and they must answer quickly and honestly. The boys are in. The boys are in. We have grass. Check this out, my boy. Hi. Cool. Hello. Hello. And hey. Hello. Hi. Hey. Wow. Wow is right. It's freshly chromed. It had better not be a bike part in my lounge. It's not my dear. Boys, shall we? Actually, uh, let's go get a milkshake. Well, what about the bike? Well, Dad can do it. Well, without my teammate? Oh, I'm kind of over it. You went yesterday. Well, I am today. Tension's bound of a goldfish. Come on, let's go. Well, unless you'd rather hang out with my dad. Okay, we're going to go get a milkshake. Yeah, g'day. I, um, I got your number off Josh. I hope you don't mind me calling. Well, I've got cash and I just need some water and as much as you can get your hands on. Hello? <sighs> That's awesome. <sighs> yeah, hey, mate, look, I'm a serious buyer and... Hello? <laughs> Whoa, dude. I know life's pretty crap right now, but having to shell up for a new phone will only make it worse. I don't give a stuff. Who are you talking to? Did some poor telly market have the misfortune to call? Would you just... Can I get you anything? Tea, water, drugs? <laughs> drugs would be good. Not those, they're useless. I don't do a thing. Really? You should tell your doc. What is my doctor going to do? I don't know, get you stronger painkillers? I guess. Oh, hey, uh, are you free tonight? Come have dinner with Gabrielle and me. Hanging out two nights in a row? Aren't you sick of me yet? Well, I am, but Gabrielle will like it. <laughs> in that case, what can I bring? Nothing. I'm showing off the culinary skills I picked up in France. Sounds good. Just booked your sister for dinner tonight. Good plan? No, I have to operate tonight. I thought it was tomorrow. No, tonight. Brain check? I already bought the fish. Cooking snap on papillon. Well, you and I can still have dinner. That's a good idea, especially since I don't like fish. You don't? No, and besides, today is pasta day. Friday, stir fry day, Saturday, shepherd's pie day, Sunday's roast day. Oh, I don't do that anymore, Lana. You just said today is pasta day. Well, it is, but I'm more flexible on other days. Except Sunday, which remains roast day. A traditionalist. <laughs> and some nights I go to dinner at the IV. Where she orders according to prime numbers. And days of the week, if I can. Well, look, you'll have to join me now, otherwise I'll have no one to share my snapper with. Okay, then. It's a date. I'll, I'll see you at seven. So, I'll probably still go for stencil design. Even though I was thinking, maybe... Are we meeting someone? Huh? Yeah. You keep door watching. I'm not door watching. So, what did I just say? Yeah. Hey. Hey, what are you up to? I'm just about to head off. Or we could stay for another one. Another milkshake? Yeah, well, I didn't have breakfast. Well, I'm gonna eat a coffee. Sweet. What? You like her? Hey, keep it down. You've liked her for ages. What ifs? And she still doesn't know? So you're gonna tell her? 
are you going to ask her out? No way. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? She could say, no way, loser. But you guys get on okay, don't you? Yeah. So, how's it going? Okay. Have you been at the fun park lately? Not since I was like 10. Oh, they've got a new roller coaster. Evan was telling me. Yeah? Yeah. Um, shall we all go? Mm. Why not? Should be fun. Well, that's why they call it a fun park. How about tomorrow then? You're on. Good. Healing well. Pain's pretty bad. It should be diminishing. I wish it was. Are you taking the paracetamol, the tramadol? Yes, they, uh, they're just not working. Hmm. I wonder if there's something I'm missing. No, I don't, I don't. I can make another appointment for you to see another doctor. Someone from the pain team. Honestly, um, I've got a low pain threshold, that's all it is. If you could prescribe me something with a bit more kick, just so I can get back to my study. You know, I've got a lot to catch up on and the pain's making it a bit difficult. All right, I'll, um, I'll give you some codeine. But if the pain's still there in a couple of days, I'd like you to come back and see someone. Will do. Trim flat white to take away, thanks. Sure. So you're still talking to me then? I kind of have to to order my coffee. Uh -huh. How's your day going? Busy? A bit slow, actually. All that spare time you've got now that you're not trying to sabotage your sister's relationship. Okay, now I'm not talking to you. You make me sound like an evil witch. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm not evil and I'm not juvenile and I'm not anything else you called me. I happen to care about Gabrielle. I worry about her. I know. But from what I can tell, Jonathan's cool. Oh, he's cool, all right. And charming. And he gets this little sort of twinkle in his eye like he knows he's got. Okay, I was gonna lay off, I promise, but now he's invited me for dinner. Just him and me at Gabrielle's place. He's doing his snapper a la papillette or something equally French and pretentious. So? So he arranged for Gabrielle not to be there. Conveniently forgot that she had a late surgery and then bulldozed me into going over. You didn't have to say yes. I did actually. <sighs> Never mind. So much for no more games. Have you actually trained as a barista? What? Sort of. Because you've missed a section about baristas being there to make coffee, not to offer unsolicited advice or pass judgment on customers. I think I'll get my coffee elsewhere. Thanks all the same. Smells delicious. Gabrielle doesn't know what she's missing. No. Actually, I think she's right where she'd rather be. Poking around in someone's brain. There. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I was passionate and obsessive about my work, but Gabrielle's something else. Okay. Consider me impressed. This is divine. Melt in the mouth. And they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Seems it works on women, too. How come I didn't come back from France with cooking talent? I took a couple of courses. And I stuck to the tourist areas. What a waste. Ah, Paris is Paris, wherever you are. The most romantic city in the world. You think? Sure. Might have a pretty good time right here in Ferndale. Ferndale, throbbing hub of romance. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. It's not where you are. It's who you're there with. Come out? Well, it's just the Tito. It is, but your mother will go off. Well, I throw it away. No, wasteful. Yeah, but then your mother will never know. Unless I tell her. You wouldn't. I might. What do you want? Forty bucks. Hey, pack her off. Oh, Dad. For forty bucks, I can get ten new tea towels. Uh, consider it in advance of my pocket money. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What do you want it for anyway? The fun park tomorrow. Well, what do you want to go there for? Well, I don't really, but someone else does. What someone else? No, don't worry, just forget it. Evan, are you taking a girl out? You are, you're taking a girl out. Yeah, and how awesome will I be if I can't afford to buy her a hot dog? Yep. Hold on. Really? First date, you never go Dutch. 
<laughs> no matter what they say about being independent and all that carry on, the ladies like a guy who pays. Well, on a first date anyway. You don't want to set up any dangerous precedents. You'll send yourself broke. But the first impression is what counts. Hey, oh, thanks, Dad. Hey, why is he getting that? Because Dad likes me better than you. Boy, no violence. How come he gets money and I don't? It's an advance on his pocket money. Where's my advance? You don't need any. I do. He's got a date. He's taking a girl out. Who? I don't know. I didn't ask. Useless. Who would be desperate enough to go out with Evan? Leave him alone. Of course. As you were, but I've been good at work. Yeah, I've been there, done that. What time is it? Quarter two. Quarter of what? I don't even know. What's it from? <gasps> Those painkillers knock me out. Dude, you're still getting over the crash. You probably needed to sleep. What I needed to do was study, damn it. Okay, calm down. Well, I've got weeks of work to catch up on, and I just wasted a whole evening. Good night, then. Tell me more about your travels. Where else have you been? Everywhere. I've lived in about a dozen cities. I never thought I'd end up living back in New Zealand. I've been gone so long. So there was obviously no significant other before you came back? No one's serious. Why was that? Not the settling type? Breaking hearts wherever you go? I had my own heart kicked around a couple of years back. That could have something to do with it. Really? Who was this person? Jonathan. <laughs> you broke your own heart. No, no, Jonathan broke it. He was another doctor. Wait, Tra wait, wait. You were with a guy? Oh, you didn't know. Didn't know what? You're gay. Well, if I was, I wouldn't be with your sister. You swing both ways. When I'm single, when I'm in a relationship, I'm more of a one-person kind of guy. Really? How does Gabrielle feel about it? It's not an issue. There's a lot of it about. Right. You have never played with girls? No, never. I kissed my best friend once <laughs> to get into an exclusive gay bar in London. The doorman wouldn't let you in if you were straight, so to prove we weren't we. Proper kiss? Yes. Did you get into the club? Yes. <laughs> I've never told anyone that story. Oh, you're completely safe with me. The important point is, did you enjoy it? A bit. You see, there's a lot of it about. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I, I already said I'm a one-person kind of guy. I've had too much wine. Hey, maybe it was all that talk about you being a closet bisexual and you're just trying to reassert your straightness. No, I... Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Maybe we should just uh, call it a night, though. Of course. Is that yours? No, sorry. Dickhead. Buy me a smoothie? Get lost. Come on, I know you're rich. No, I'm meeting people, so can you... Who are you meeting? Just Phoenix and Ola. Hey, you there. Hey. I hope you didn't have too much breakfast this morning. Don't want anyone puking on the roller coaster. <laughs> are you guys going to the fun park? Actually, I can't make it. Hey? I forgot about this assignment I've got due. Any minute. You're actually choosing to do schoolwork over hanging out with us. Lame. That's all right. We'll still have fun. Can I come? No. No. Why not? Because. 
Hold on. Why are you going to the fun park anyway when you supposedly have a date with some girl today? Have you? Unless... Oh, no way. This is your date, the fun park. No, it's not. We're all just here. Uh, trust me, it is a date. We'll even think so anyway. He even told Dad that he was meeting some girl today. No, I just said that to get money. <laughs> Jasmine, did you have to be such a cow? He deserved it. Hunter. Hi. Hey. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, average. Burning humiliation doesn't help. About the other night, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, what other night? It's totally forgotten and never happened. Thank you. So what are you doing here? Have you got an appointment? No, actually, I'm here to see Mr. Gibson, my old roomie. Oh, wow, that's so nice of you. Well, he's a cool guy, so, so yeah. I heard he was more of a cantankerous old guy, but... No. Okay. Well, um, see you later. Glad you're feeling better. Thanks. Cheers. So as soon as your family get here, we'll take you down, okay? See you soon. Hey, Wendy. Um, is Mr. Gibson being discharged? Within the next hour or so. Oh, that's good timing. I just came to say hi. Oh, you a sweetheart. Is there anything I can do for him? Um, get his prescriptions filled or, or take his stuff down? Well, he's already got his meds, so just keeping him company would be fine. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. Guess what, Mr. Gibson? Downstairs, just let me know that your daughter's here already, so we can take you down now. I'm sorry, Hunter. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll come down with you. Hey, Mr. Gibson, how are you? All right. You could grab a wheelchair if you're up to it. Sure. So, those All Blacks, eh? Hey? I'm a league fan. That's right, my bad. Wendy. Oh, oh going to... Mr. Davies, log roll. I'll be there as soon as I've I taken... I can take them if you like. Well, if you're sure. You take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Going down. Oh, come on, these things always take forever. Great. Be out what? What's this? I can the fun park. <laughs> Why? Okay, so you know Jasmine? Yeah, I think I do. She is my sister. And what do sisters do? They make life hell for their brothers. Which is why I didn't tell anything about today. Not a thing. Oh. Yeah, she completely shamed me out. And now there's no way it was gonna go out with me. Not when she thinks I'm a douche who tells his daddy's got a date. Well, uh, well, it was the girl you were taking out. Well, it wasn't exactly official. I was just hoping it was going to go that way. And now she thinks I'm a complete idiot. <coughs> Is it six o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock, um, over there? Hmm? Oh, no. Even. Your daughter's just bringing the car around. I'll take it. Oh, no, it's okay. I can do with the fresh air. Oh, after you. <laughs> Bella. Don't forget Mr. Gibson's bag. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Gibson. Take care. How was your dinner? Lovely. You've got yourself a good man there. Yeah, I think so. We should really get moving. I'll grab the bill. Okay. 
Can I just say again how sorry I am? You don't have to. I do. I've been drinking. I went a little crazy. Thank you for not saying anything. I don't want to make things any worse between you two. No. See you over there. See you soon. A trim flat white to take away, thanks. So this is elsewhere. Pardon? The place where you get your coffee. Why are you getting yours here is the question. You won't drink your own work. <laughs> Actually, I'm here for the killer pancakes. So your sister and Jonathan on the way in? Of course you did. There's only one cafe in this tiny town, isn't there? Well, only one decent one near the hospital, yeah. So how was last night? Last night? Yeah, the dinner date they had you so freaked. I had nothing to worry about, as it turned out. Oh, he didn't try and seduce you? No one tried to seduce anyone. It was pleasant food, interesting conversation. Did you know Jonathan is a bisexual? Yeah, I heard something along those lines. So that's what you're worried about now, that he's going to run off on Gabrielle with another guy? No, I don't think that at all, I think. I think Jonathan genuinely cares for my sister. Hmm. Well then, good result. Very good. I can breathe easy. You see, there was method to my madness. <laughs> yep, if you say so. Martin, Hunter. What's up? I'm busting. Mind the truck? Yeah, take your time. What are you doing? I just dropped my painkillers. And then just, like, hit a couple straight from the ground? I'm in pain, okay? Except these aren't even your painkillers. Unless you've changed your name. Do I look like a drug addict to you? The evidence is right in front of him. What is this stuff that the ADHD kids are on, isn't it? Is it addictive? Yes. Will he put it together? That is complete bull. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.